20 years ago, Massachusetts passed landmark legislation, the Toxics Use Reduction Act, known as TURA. Before TURA, most state and federal pollution laws dealt with controlling toxic emissions and waste, referred to as end-of-pipe legislation. The issue that brought about the possibility of the Toxics Use Reduction Program was hazardous waste because the state was, at that point, highly anxious about the production of hazardous waste. In 1986, that just a couple of towns away, there was the lawsuit because of the water contamination in wells G and H in Woburn. And so it wasn't just that the policy path had been paved. It wasn't just that people were somewhat worried that if crazy activists like us at Mansburg put something on the ballot, it would be a tough policy to live with from industry perspective. But it was also the case that average people were thinking and caring and worrying a lot about exposure to toxic chemicals. TURA is a unique law that prevents hazardous waste from being generated in the first place. It does not ban chemical use. Instead, it requires companies to take training classes and develop plans that seriously consider options to replace or reduce the use of toxic chemicals. Really the key in the whole negotiation was this question of can the state ban or restrict the use of chemicals. And that was, we were really, really hung up on that. And it was really Ken's idea and of the planning process. And he came to a meeting and it was like a light bulb that went off. He said, well, we're not going to make, we're not going to have the ability to make you stop or reduce your use of chemicals. We're going to make you look at your chemical use. We're going to make you look at how you use them and look at it systematically. And then if it makes sense to reduce their use, uh, you'll do it. The law requires that Massachusetts companies use trained personnel, usually health and safety managers, to analyze toxic chemical usage. This created a new respected profession within companies and consulting firms, known as Toxics Use Reduction Planners. We're actually uh, being um, uh, condoned as professionals at that time uh, by the state of Massachusetts, and uh, it was a whole new career path uh, uh, for me, and, and maybe you experienced the, uh, the, same, the same thing, but uh, we now had a new credibility. Uh, people were starting to uh, listen to us at work. Um, we became part of the uh, business planning process. So it's all about how uh, the TURA program has made us more competitive. And I'm here to tell you that um, in Alpha Gary's case, I feel strongly that it has. Uh, we've t taken advantage of the myriad of resources available in the, in the Commonwealth. I can now go into my business, have the respect of my management because they know that I listen, that I come up with ideas that solve problems. And I think all of that the source of that comes from my experience in this Toxic Use Reduction Act world. As a TUR planner, I'll say, comes down to um, communicating within the company and helping, helping those who might be somewhat skeptical about regulations and complying with them and the, the burden associated with simple fees, helping them understand almost you know, interpreting the work we're doing in complying with her and helping them understand how it's consistent with the company goals. Yes, it has changed my job both when I was in industry and as a consultant. Even if I'm not assisting company with toxic use reduction plans, I have a totally different uh, thought process when I go into an industry. I see things differently. It's a good project management tool. And, and I think that the elements that are in a, both the toxic use reduction plan and similarly in a resource conservation plan give you a real nice guidance as to how to run a project. And we use the same type of guidance now for every project we do because it's, it's efficient. The people that put the plan elements in place, I, we need to thank because they put a lot of forethought into what they're actually doing as far as making you do a full 360 degree evaluation. So, you know, from my own personal perspective, it's, it's, it's been a good thing. It is these planners and the companies they work for that have made Massachusetts a leader in reducing toxic chemical use, waste, and emissions. 
In celebration of the 20th anniversary of the Tura Law, the three agencies that implemented the law, the Toxics Use Reduction Institute, Mass DEP, and the Office of Technical Assistance hosted a symposium in November of 2009. More than 200 people gathered to reflect on the past, celebrate environmental accomplishments, and plan for the future. In addition to companies, community groups also participated by sharing successful ways they have encouraged the public and small businesses to reduce toxics. In the spring of 2010, the Tura program agencies and state dignitaries presented 15 innovative companies with the Tura 20th Anniversary Leaders Awards. These companies employ more than 18,000 people in Massachusetts. The awards and facility tours showcased each company's environmental accomplishments, use of safer materials, waste reductions, and energy and water savings since the Toxics Use Reduction Act was enacted in 1989. Companies were appreciative of the recognition and praised the business and environmental benefits of the Tura Law and supportive services provided by the state. The data show that the Tura 20th anniversary leaders thrive between 1990 and 2008 they reported a seven-fold increase in production. As the companies grew, they also reduced their use of toxic chemicals by three million pounds, reduced byproducts by nearly one million pounds, and reduced releases to the environment by over one million pounds. We all want to live in a world where the air is clean to breathe, where the water is clean to drink, where our food is safe to eat, where the outdoors are healthy and positive environment for us. And this law, this work that you're doing is a first step down that path, but it isn't the path at the end. And at the end is the greener, cleaner, healthier country, the greener, cleaner, healthier world, and the robust quality of life that we all want. <music>